All right, going to be taking a look at BLTA before we jump into the stock really quick. I would like to give a quick shout out to all of our dedicated members that are on the BLTA board and all the other boards on Investors Hangout. Uh, the BLTA uh, board and all you members have been here seriously uh, from the beginning. And, and uh, again, really do appreciate that and appreciate you guys being part of it. So like I said, I want to give a quick shout out to you guys. So that being said, we're going to jump into this uh this current stock chart looks like about 0056 is going to be a resistance level as well uh, off of that. So if we take a look at the stock zooming out, the last time that we went through the stock is going to be on 313 quite a bit. Uh, quite a while ago is at 0057 then. And I'm guessing that it was going to be right here. Yep. It was going to be right there when it, once it got to the top right there around that, uh, that, that area. I said, watch, could keep going, but might start pulling back to the 007 um, question mark. Uh, where was that? I'm sorry, 0057 was going to be pulling down here. So I got my numbers wrong, obviously, there. Resistance is going to be at the 06. That's where the resistance was at that time. Support at 005, 4535, gap at 4450. Again, we were talking about this gap back over here, and it did end up getting filled uh, on March 28th. So it was, uh, again, like about two weeks later. Build that bouncing off the 30 day simple moving average. And then unfortunately over here on 411, it fell through there and now rested on that support at 0049, picking up that momentum and look at the Bollinger Band starting to get really tight together right here. All right, these Bollinger Bands starting to get really tight together here. I would be watching I would be watching for that to break through that resistance level. You guys break through those moving averages are going to be a really big start. Again, at the 005256 would really pop this one. Again, I'm not just saying this because of all the dedicated members on Investors Hangout, so don't take it that way at all. Uh, not a biased opinion. Um, I'm just telling you how I see it. Really getting set up here for a move. You guys break that 5-2. You guys are right under it right now at 5-1. 5, one. five six is going to be the next one. I personally think that this one's setting up for a move. I really do. We'll see what Joe has to add. All right, so with this one, I'm seeing a stop sign with pink new information. So uh, I went on to the filings. I see a pre-14A, and then the latest press release is kind of consistent with that. So I'm just going to go right to that. So it's uh, the last press release was on April 13, 2017. It was Volta Airlines provides first, first quarter 2017 update in a letter from its chairman and president. So BLT, uh, Volta Airlines Incorporated today announced that Anthony D. Corloris, Volta's chairman of the board and president, issued a letter to the company's shareholders providing an update on recent corporate developments. The full text to the shareholders letter is provided below. So, I mean, I could read the whole thing. It's really up to you, David. Go ahead. Um, okay. So um, with the full first quarter as chairman of the board and president complete, I would like to provide you with an update of our on our progress and current status as we transform our company with the ultimate priority of becoming fully operational a fully operational airline by the end of 2017 i can report that we believe the changes we have implemented thus far are positive for our company and further that we will continue to work diligently towards our stated goal since november 2016 we appointed mr george kelsey of the Kelsey Law Group as general counsel, Mr. John W. Lampy or Lample, former formerly of British Airways as vice president of corporate communications, Captain Douglas Shornar, uh, previously of Swift Air as director of operations, and Mr. James Calbrisi, a 30-year aviation industry veteran as director of maintenance. In addition to these execute uh, executives, Mr. Felix. Melitsky, an accomplished and well-respected entrepreneur, as well as president and managing partner of Fortix Lux Financial, joined our board of directors. These are talented and experienced professionals who have further augmented our team and will play a key role in the future direction of our company. In January 2017, we retained Elinoff's Grossman and Scholl LLP, a well-respected Manhattan-based law firm to advise and re represent us in several aspects of our business, ranging from securities compliance to financing. Since then, we've launched a private convertible preferred stock offering, allowing us to raise capital in order to implement our restructuring efforts. We have also retained the services of our new accounting firm, separate audit preparation firm, and we intend to select an independent auditor to bring Volta 
uh, Baltia up to date and current with all regulatory filings. This process has been prolonged since the financial statements for 2015 and 16 must be audited. The re-audit of the 2015 financial statements is necessary based on the removal and censoring of our prior auditors. I am confident that once the audit is finalized, Baltia will be on the path for more or to more normalized operations and we can seek reinstatement of the trading of our common stock on the OTC QB market. With regard to FAA air carrier certification, on March 29, 2017, our CEO, Cheryl Milligan, and I met with members of our new FAA certi certification team. Although we have not been, well, although we have been communicating with them routinely since the regional office assigned our project to the Indianapolis Flight Standards District office, this was the first time speaking with them in person as a team. We believe this meeting was advantageous for two reasons. First, it gave us the opportunity to introduce them to our updated vision for our company and our proposed airline operations. And second, the meeting allowed the agency the opportunity to update us on the numerous changes taking place within the FAA. And particularly, recently the FAA issued new draft guidelines or guidance for air carrier certification to ensure our efforts at gaining FAA certification are accomplished during current data. The FSDO manager obtained authorization to forward the draft to us for use in developing future revisions to our manuals. This will help reduce the possible possibility of having to recreate documents during this renewed certification project. We are hopeful that this action highlights the agency's willingness to support our certification efforts moving forward. Since our December 2016 announcement of our execution of a letter of intent to lease a Boeing 767-300ER aircraft, our relationship with Kalita Air continues to be strong. We are currently collaborating to execute a lease agreement at the appropriate time so as to minimize unnecessary leasing costs and bring the aircraft online once maintenance is complete and in anticipation of flight operations 10 new registration numbers were re reserved and purchased by us from the FAA signaling our intention to augment our flight to our fleet to 10 airplanes this coincides with our vision for aggressive fleet and route expansion should we obtain FAA certification we have also been working diligently on rebranding our company and updating updated service offering. This includes website development and creation of social media platforms, as well as additional marketing collateral for the business. We have forged new strategic relationship with senior management at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, political figures and business partners here in New York, as well as in cities we've targeted as potential pairing partners. All of, our, all of our company's expenses and overhead have been assessed and a thorough overhaul of our financing and accounting functions have been in, uh, instituted. I've implemented a strict code on fiscal discipline across the board, which includes renegotiation of existing contracts with all vendors and business partners and elimination of unnecessary and, un, or, or, and or redundant services. Finally, I look forward to sharing our detailed and comprehensive plan at our upcoming shareholder meeting to be held on or about Thursday, May 11, 2017 at Stewart International Airport Hangar G, located at 169 New York 17K, Newburgh, New York. One, uh, you know, shareholders as a record date for such meeting will receive additional details as well as proxy statement for additional in the coming, uh, in the coming weeks. A lot, of, a lot has been accomplished and a lot remains to be completed. However, the, what remains consistent is that our team is dedicated, determined, and disciplined to get the job done. As always, thank you for con your continued support. And that was respectively Anthony Caloris, Chairman of the Board and President of Volta Airlines Incorporated. All right, so this per, this up, pre-14A though, when I pulled that up right there, let me make sure I got the right one. All right, so they they wanted to change the name. So the the scheduled meeting, you are cordially invited to attend a special meeting, a stockholder special meeting of Volta Airlines, be held at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at May 11th, 2017 at Stewart. You know that that's the thing. So the amendment is uh, to our certificate of incorporation to to the, change the name of the company. 
from Balta Airlines to U.S. Global Airways Incorporated. So that, that's basically a part of that right there. And then they also stated right here that an amendment of Article 3 of the company certificate is amendment. It's to, to affect a reverse stock split of the company's capital stock at a ratio of between 1 for 25 or 1 for 50, which such ratio to be determined at the sole discretion of the board and with such a reverse stock split affected at such time, as if at all, as determined by the board as the sole discretion. So that's pretty much it. So the, the meeting's going to be in regards to changing their name to U.S. Global Airways and also to amending a possible reverse stock split. Okay. Uh, you know, Joe, I, I want to add something in here real quick, uh, and I'm sure you can agree with me here. So, uh, like I said, there's a special shareholders meeting uh, coming up that you discussed. Uh, I, I want to add on here because we've done it for another company as well. I'm sure that Joe would agree. I, I, we wouldn't mind sponsoring this. So if, if you guys are shareholders that are watching this and, and would like to reach out to the company, uh, we can kind of send you guys a, a, a few giveaways here, some pens and um some t-shirts and stuff so you guys can give them away uh obviously nothing insane crazy but we, we can definitely get you guys some stuff to hand out um like depends like i said in in some t-shirts so definitely uh if you guys in contact with them if you guys want to let them know about that uh all they have to or do is stream it live us. they should stream it live yeah we can stream it live too so yeah. <clears throat> you know it, it, that would be cool like if we could figure out a way you know where shareholders can stream it to us and we could push it out. That would be yeah, awesome. Yeah, sure we can figure it out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, definitely. So uh, is that all you have to add for this one, Joe? So we can wrap this up. Yeah, that's it. That's it, man. All right. So again, with all the information that Joe just went over is available over here on Investors Hangout. Uh, like I said, with the time or the recent news, all you have to do is click on the headline and it will pop out the news right at you. Super easy, super quick to go through a lot of news fast, not only for this stock, but all others with the time and sale, each trade with the time, price and volume. That being said, we're going to take a look back at the chart right now. Uh, 0051 chart is setting up here and could be getting ready for another move. In my opinion, resistance at 52 and 56, support at 49 and 40. Uh, a break of 56 could send this much higher. Again, that is my personal opinion. That's what we're going to be watching for with BLTA. Again, if you follow the stock, make sure that you subscribe and hit that like button. Get out there, share this video with all other investors. The more you share it, the more it's requested, the more we will cover it. And again, if you'd like to join us with our live streams, you can do so at investorshangout.com forward slash live.